I know you were just now sitting there before watching this video thinking, you know, I don't think I have enough reasons to despise police officers. They don't raid enough wrong homes. They don't attack enough people who are saving children from predators. They're not shooting enough pets. They're not holding enough families at gunpoint who are trying to go to the vet to save their dog's life. I just need you know, just a couple more reasons. I know you were sitting there thinking that, so I got one for you. This right here is an off-duty police officer who attacks a bunch of kids because they were at the wrong pool. The officer's name is Jared Rivas. The police department is the Galveston, Texas Police Department. Let's just take a look at it. We'll get back to the video in a second. If you're sick of left versus right, dog and pony show, banker manipulated American politics, subscribe to my new channel, The Disturbing Illusion. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. A Galveston police officer is on paid leave pending an internal investigation about a violent incident at an apartment pool. Community activists are now involved in this case. Anthony Antoine is here to pick up that story. Anthony. Yeah, this is the early stages of the investigation, right? We have a long way to go, but what we do know is that Family members are now coming forward, and community activists are making calls for the FBI and the Department of Justice to get involved in the investigation. You, you, you can punch my daughter! You can punch my daughter! It's the video going viral online. But this officer. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to blur this out. But this cop, this off-duty cop, Jared Rebus from the Galveston, Texas Police Department is so freaking brutal. The guy that he's punching right now that I can't show you and it's all blurred out is a guy who stepped in to try to save a female from off-duty officer Jared Rebus. Beat the hell out of those kids. And another cop is holding this guy down. A guy who's being a protector of the innocent is being pummeled by the cops who are supposed to be the protectors of the innocent. It shows Galveston police officer Jared Rivas, who was off duty at the time, confronting and allegedly assaulting guests at a birthday pool party, including teenagers. Heidi Williams says the off-duty officer punched her 13-year-old son and 14-year-old daughter in the face. And he was like, are y'all residents here? And I was like, no, sir, we're not. We're um, guests here. And he was like, well, y'all don't have wristbands, so uh, y'all need to get F up and leave. Things escalated quickly, and William says the officer never identified himself. Oh, where do you work? Look, look at this guy. This guy is a psycho. This guy does not need to be walking around free on the streets. This guy doesn't just need to lose his job. Like I've said before, his property, his pension need to be liquidated, and the victims that he victimized need to be made whole through the liquidation of Rivas' estate. Where do you work? Police and neighbors say Rivas is a courtesy officer at the property, but activist Quanell X believes he has a different set of facts. And when we all watch a video that clearly shows your officer breaking the law and then to lie and say he was on duty working officer security at the time, then the apartment complex comes forth and says that's not true. He was not working for us at the time. And they are a cop lying imagine my shock now stay tuned because this is just part one another family got involved and were also attacked by Rivas. just stay tuned not confident in the investigation we're asking for the department of justice and the fbi uh, let me just show you this here this is classic police right here classic policing you have all the uniformed galveston officers surrounding and dogpiling the victim of Rivas. While in the foreground, you got Rivas walking around free and clear. We're asking for the Department of Justice and the FBI to please step in and investigate this case. They punching on people! Galveston Police Chief Douglas Bally. I have very stark concerns over what occurred on that scene and 
the Galveston Police Department takes this seriously. We also received a statement from the Assistant District Attorney Brent Hayes saying, quote, any charging decisions will be made once the investigation has been completed. Because this is an open and active investigation, we are unable to discuss any further details. I don't understand how a chunk of time can go by in these investigations when you have the criminal activity recorded from multiple angles on multiple cameras. But for this parent and community activists, they're demanding the officer be terminated and indicted. Now, the officer in question here says that he was attacked. Again, exactly how this thing started, that is part of the investigation, and we're going to be working our way through that. But Rashi and Caroline, I want to tell you guys what's coming up here tonight at 9 o'clock. Imagine this. You're watching this entire thing unfold at the pool. Another family, a woman and her two kids, says they were watching everything unfold. They had their camera phones out recording. The mom calls police. Police comes to the scene, and they go to assist. And then this officer in question, according to this mom, says he attacked her two boys. Oh my God. And she says that he was a hammer searching for a nail. Her story is coming up tonight at nine. <laughs> now, listen, we're going to watch that part two in a second, but listen to the reaction of these two female news reporters. Wow. A lot to turn back here. It's hard to watch. Thank we got to watch it again. It's just funny. It's coming up tonight at nine. Wow. A lot to turn video. back here. It's wow. Wow. Okay, here's part two. This is the other family that it got involved and how they got involved is they were recording the criminal actions of off-duty officer Revis. Houston County DA's office says it is too early in the investigation to know if charges will be brought against a suspended police officer Jared Rivas for his role in a pool brawl. You know, in, in none of these news stories does it say how Rivas ended up on his back in this video right here. I'd, I'd like to know. I don't know if he slipped and fell. I don't know if somebody pushed him down, but Rivas being on the ground on his back is never addressed in any of these news stories suspended police officer Jared Rivas for his role in a pool brawl last week. We are now hearing from one of the people who was seen getting hit by Rivas on video. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is outside the Galveston Police Department where the incident is now being investigated. 23-year-old Taylor Alexander says he is pressing charges against Rivas. Today, Taylor recalling watching his 15-year-old brother be thrown to the ground by his neck before Reva started swinging at him. Taylor Alexander sees only one way to look at what happened at the Island Bay Resort Apartments last week. I think everything he did was, was wrong and he used excessive force. He says they weren't at the pool deck brawl just nearby. When things seemed to be calming down, he, his teen brother and mother tried to walk away but were stopped. Revis yelled for us to stop. My little brother, the youngest 15, trying super compliant, yes sir. Uh, at that point, he's grabbed by the back of the neck and thrown into the ground. That's where new video obtained by ABC 13 picks up. Taylor says this video shows Revis pinning the teen down before getting in their mother's face. Yeah, he got up in my mom's face. So I, and my mom's had two surgeries. Mm -hmm. um, she actually just had her neck fused mm -hmm. I don't, a few months ago, I guess. And, and, you know, my thought process was if he takes her down the same way he did, it's going to paralyze her. So I jumped in between them. Revis flashes his badge and can be heard yelling expletives. The video stops. Taylor says in the moments after the video, an officer starts to detain him. Revis pulls an arm back. Look, look at Revis' face here. Watch his face. Check this out. He is just a madman. He is he is consumed by anger, no doubt overtaken by ego, and he just can't control himself. Revis pulls an arm back and swings for his face. It all happened so fast, it's not super clear, but I think he took a swing at me. I know I was hit. I was struck three times, once in the face and then twice in the back of the head. Lori Lozano, Taylor's mother, told ABC 13 she thinks Rivas' behavior was uncalled for. And he is just a bad apple. He's a loose cannon and he's very dangerous. Taylor says he. Yeah, he's a bad apple. No doubt. Rivas officer, off duty officer Rivas is a bad apple. But what's curious about this whole thing is that when all the Galveston good apples showed up, nobody apprehended Revis for some reason. And then Revis lies and says he's doing security for the apartment complex that owns the pool. And the apartment complex is like, uh, he's not on our payroll. What are you talking about? So 
Imagine my shock when I realized that another officer engaged in deceptive practices. Was put in the back of the police car when Revis got in the front seat, not appearing to realize Taylor was in the back. He just he came in, turned the AC on, put his hands on his head like this, and then he got out and left. Mm -hmm. Taylor was released and checked by EMS. Taylor says he's filed a complaint against Revis, wants to see charges brought against him, and says he should be removed from the force. The Galveston Police Department and apartment complex can't seem to agree on why Revis was there. The Galveston Police Department saying Revis was working as an off-duty courtesy officer, but today the apartment complex reaffirming to me that Revis is not an employee of their complex. From Galveston. I'm so he just outright lies. and He's like, no, I'm supposed to be here because I've been hired by the complex. Unbelievable lies. I don't know what ended up happening with this, but usually what happens is when the officer is found in the wrong, he gets paid administrative leave. He is still on the force pending an investigation, but it is paid leave. And if there's a settlement, guess whose bank account it's not going to come out of. And even if they fire Reefus, he's going to go to the other town and then the problem's not going to be solved. The problem isn't solved through settlement because that money comes out of the taxpayer pocket. It's not settled through termination of the officer because he can go to another town and be employed just the same and put the the community members in that town in just as much jeopardy as the previous town. No problem along the lines of police brutality is going to be solved until the cop is fired, till his assets are liquidated, including his pension, and that that officer and everybody who facilitated that cop's corruption and abuse of society they need to also be held accountable. The police chief needs to be held accountable. If it's a sheriff, he needs to be held accountable for their deputies. And that's the only way that we're going to change this entire thing is if people are truly held accountable and don't hold a gun to the faces of the taxpayers and tell them they need to pay a $500,000 or $2.5 million settlement. Make it the individual police officer's responsibility to pay for his crimes. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my new channel where I unravel the disturbing illusion of parasitic left versus right dog and pony show American politics. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt, become a channel member, but more importantly, know what your rights are and always record the police. I will see you in the next video.